competition in ballet, it's the nature of ballet. It's more of a competition within yourself to make you strive for the better. Lift. 95% of the dancers in New York City Ballet come from the School of American Ballet. So that definitely adds a heightened nervousness and makes everyone on their toes. It's her fault. Every dancer has to have a plan B because you never know if there's an injury. You never know if once you're in the professional world, it wasn't what you expected. Today for our ballet class we had Peter Martins, who's the artistic director of New York City Ballet. Here we go, a little introduction now. When Peter Martins is there, there's a heightened nervousness because most of us are here at the School of American Ballet because we want to be part of the New York City Ballet. Since Peter Martins runs New York City Ballet, at the end of the year, he's gonna choose a few apprentices that he wants for his company. And there are so few jobs in the professional ballet career. So all of us really want to impress him. But an apprenticeship is one year tryout at the New York City Ballet. It's a tryout for us to see whether you're a fit. It's a tryout for you whether you like it. Her fault. It's usually the boy's fault. This time it was your fault, sweetheart. You have to wait till five. You turn on four. He's not ready. Two. And... The teachers are there for us to make sure that we're doing our best every single day. Four. There's audition season and you can get an apprenticeship with that company which will then lead you to a core spot and go up in the ranks from there. Yeah, okay. Now, nothing fancy with one arm. You have to train to do this. You have to, you have to uh, practice to do this. There's a lot more girls that want to be ballerinas and are determined to get into a company than there are men. So it's always more competition for them. Competition in ballet, it's the nature of ballet. When you look around the room and maybe you see someone whose extensions are a little bit higher or can, who can turn a little bit more, who has a little bit more turnout, it's more of a competition within yourself to make you strive for the better. I try to get to school on time every morning, <laughs> but that's hard. <laughs> For my high school, I spend two to three hours a day, and then, of course, extra hours doing homework. Professional children's school really helps kids who have hectic schedules and who can't go to regular high school in the regular eight-period day. They have made a schedule for me so that I can go and get all of the classes I need in order to graduate. Mimi, can you come up and show us how to do it? On a normal day for me, I'm usually dancing three to four hours a day. And then on top of that, I have Pilates, which adds another hour. So probably five hours a day or more are dedicated to dancing. And then after ballet is over at like four or five, I do my homework. The reason why I fell in love with ballet was because it was a way to express myself without having to use words because when I was younger, I had a really, really bad stutter. And it was very embarrassing, and I was ridiculed for it. I became very shy, and in certain situations, I would not speak because I was afraid I was gonna stutter, and I was afraid I was gonna be made fun of for it. So for me to be able to go into the ballet classroom or to go on stage and not have to say anything, was kind of like a relief. I was able to express myself and just dance and be free and not have to worry about anything. To be able to express my happiness and my love for ballet is just amazing. But there are so few jobs in the professional ballet career. Every dancer has to have a plan B. You never know if there's an injury. You never know if once you're in the professional world, it wasn't what you expected. I've been going through this process with one of my best friends, Jackie. It's just been amazing to be able to have one of my closest friends here with me going through it. 
we've been growing up and we've been experiencing our teenage years next year, I might be in a completely different place from all my friends. Like, not all of us are going to stay together. It's weird that, like, in a few months we have to start finding jobs and... I know. It's so weird to me, like, we're only 17 and it, I feel like it shouldn't be starting yet. For the past three years, we've all like lived together. We've we've lived together, and we have become a family. Yeah. Even if we don't all end up in like the same company, we're all like searching for the same goal. Yeah. So we're like in the future, we're all going to be working towards the same thing and working and doing the same thing. You know. While most seniors are applying for colleges, my main goal is finding a professional company. Of course, you're scared that it's not going to work out. Either it's going to be me or it's not going to be me, and what is it going to feel like? Injuries are going to happen. It's a great art form, but it's strenuous on your body. I ended up with a tear in my patellar tendon, but the doctor suggested that I take a whole summer off, and that was like a really scary thought because ballet was the most important thing. 